Hi, I'm Cleo. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I just invite you to bring your hands together and bring them up to your heart space. And we're just going to take a few moments before we start to take some nice deep breaths, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. So let's begin by taking your feet about hips width distance apart, bend your knees slightly and slowly folding forward and grabbing opposite elbows, allowing our head and your neck to relax completely. This is a pose that you might have done before and it's a very effective pose. I will lead you for a full five minutes of practice. However, if you're a beginning student, just stop when you feel you've reached your limit. You'll hear one tone for each minute that passes, so you'll know how long you've been in the pose. You can come out when you need to, but try not come out of the pose between tones. So you're to complete the practice in full minute intervals in one, two, three, four and eventually five full minutes. Standing here with your head and neck relaxed, hanging over your legs, begin to take nice deep breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. You'll find that your breathing will begin to form a steady rhythm. You'll also find that your body will naturally fold just a little bit deeper on your exhales, which is totally normal. Maybe you might feel when you inhale fully, you might come out slightly from the stretch, but this is okay. Your goal here is not to control anything. Just try your best to use as little energy as possible and relax completely. Your hamstrings are not one muscle in the back of your leg, but also they are a group of muscles. They're strong mu muscles often become shortened due to our sedentary lives. And also from repetitive strengthening exercises, maybe like running. We put so much emphasis on hamstring flexibility because tight hamstrings can cause bad posture with hunchback. And it can also make it easy to injure your lower back as the stiffness in your legs severely restricts your range of motion. So as you're hanging here over your legs, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, it can be helpful to remember that you're not just opening the back of your legs, you're also freeing up and protecting your spine and your lower back in particular. If your arms get too tired, you can drop them down onto the floor, but just make sure that your palms, your hands are facing up. That way you're not tempted to support yourself using your hands. If possible, Try ignore the stretching sensation in the back of your legs. And instead, focus on the rhythm of your own breath. In and out. There may be some trembling in your legs. This is totally normal. Just go with it. Just go with the flow. And just keep breathing. While you practice, remember to keep your knees slightly bent to protect your lower back from straining. It's normal to feel stretching in all of the backs of your legs all the way to your lower back, but you don't want to feel any sharp or shooting pain. And if you do, just wait until the next tone and then release. Otherwise, just stay with your breath. We're almost there. 
When you hear the tone five times, then it'll be time to finish. Slowly coming up, and now I just invite you to bring your hands together and your hands bring them to your heart space. I'm just going to take a few moments now just to take some nice deep breaths, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, and just really being in the here and now. I'm just noticing if anything has changed in your body. If you manage to reach the five minutes of the ragdoll pose, that's great, but it's also great if you just came out of it after one minute or two or three or four minutes. Maybe each day is different. You can try each day and see how you get on. And bit by bit, you'll see that your body will begin to adapt and become that bit more flexible as you try each time. So just keep breathing in through your nose, out your mouth. And just taking a few moments, giving gratitude to your body. And just really breathing into your body and letting out any tension that you might have. This is your moment just for you, just to be in the here and now. I want to thank you for joining me today in this practice. And just one more breath, deep breath in, and then exhaling out. And namaste, thank you.